The country's top leader is speaking out this morning, but anti-government demonstrators are also making their voices heard again today in Iran. A website for opposition leader Mir Hossein Mousavi says more than a million people have taken to the streets to mourn those who were killed over the past week. Mousavi was relatively unknown in the West until all of this unrest began. Nala Ayad reports this morning on how and why he's become so important. A show of mourning for the victims of earlier protests, but no less another show of disdain for the government. Once again, tens of thousands of pro-reform protesters seize the streets in Tehran, adamant they will keep coming back until they get new elections. From the start, it's been a bold, stubborn movement, dominated by youth, but driven by a man two generations older. Somehow, 67-year-old Mir Hossein Mousavi went from a forgotten hardliner to a liberal hero. A meteoric rise that baffles even the most seasoned Iranian observers. Who knows him to begin with? During the past 20 years, no one heard of him. But during the election campaign, Mousavi's smart messaging woke up the reformist camp. Not exactly charming, but his words still an antidote to the president's rhetoric. He wants to disband the morality police, improve relations with the West, introduce freedoms for women. Liberal views from a one-time conservative insider in the Islamic Revolution, who served as prime minister during the Iraq-Iran war. He was a socialist. He was uh, still quiet, but he was fundamentalist in the way he loved Khomeini and uh, his commitment to, to revolution. But after Mousavi left politics, he delved into the world of art, developing his own painting skills along with the growing distrust of the establishment. When he decided to run, his wife Zahra Rahnavard was better known. The sculptor and professor was a big part of Mousavi's appeal. A good husband and wife have to help each other, she told us. She mobilized youth by urging them to demand their rights and to vote. And they did, in overwhelming numbers, for the man they now call the Gandhi of Iran. He showed stubbornness. He showed that he is a man of his word. He is not, uh, you know, he is not withdrawing his demands and he is not giving any concession. And neither are his supporters. Mousavi doesn't seek to bring down the regime he helped build, but he seeks to modernize it. And in today's Iran, that's enough to inspire millions. Nala Ayat, CBC News, Beirut.